Georgia. I'll never mess with your emotions. Ever. Ever. Oh my god. We did we not did kiss each other on the lips on purpose, on purpose. right? Oh you my didn't. god. No, you didn't. Ellie, you need to fucking pipe down because you're well, fucking. Well, sit in front Ellie, of your daughter and say how fucking loyal you are. Merry Christmas, Jamie! Do you not think it's a bit embarrassing that you bang on about being loyal? And you wasn't loyal to me because as soon as you walk through that door at your ex's house, that's not loyal. No one needs to pick up stuff from someone's house at four in the morning. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today on this beautiful week. I thought I would do a particular video on Miss Georgia Steele, the infamous contestant on last recent season's Love Island. Now, obviously everybody loved Miss Georgia Steele when she first came on the scene. Now, but before we get into this entire mini documentary of the downfall, the rise and the absolute fall of this particular character, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that button for consistent content every single day. Click, 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 just takes one second. And follow me on Instagram at Murad underscore Murali. I'd massively, massively appreciate it. Now, Georgia Steele obviously came onto the whole Love Island scene, you know, a bit later on. She wasn't one of the originals, but she came onto Love Island and at first, everybody kind of liked her. She, she seemed a bit, you know, refreshing and she seemed a bit just different. Like, you know, she seemed a bit chilled and relaxed and, you know, a northern babe. And she started talking to this particular other contestant, but unfortunately he had, he had to leave for own personal issues. Everybody was a bit sad because they did seem like they were getting on together. Then they started talking to Josh and Josh and her, lo and behold, got on very well. And, you know, Georgia spoke about how she never really has put her heart out there and confided in people because she, She's really scared it's going to be crushed. Like she set the prefix notion of what was going to happen. She was foreshadowing somehow. And that really only induces our love for this particular contestant because you really did not want her to go through what she feared. Having to get to know somebody, tell them their secrets and everything, and then that particular person just rejecting her and crushing her. And when they had to be split to two villas, you see Josh coming back with a new girl called Kaz. And now at this particular point is where everybody just began to love Georgia because we saw her in that moment where she turned around, took a, took a quick breath, turned back around and was like, I've got it. And like, that just really just reflects what a lot of males and females go through and how they get rejected and everything, but they continuously stand strong. They don't let people override them. They don't let people watch them suffer in front of them. They are standing strong. The tears will come afterwards, but as of right now, they are strong. And you know, obviously at this point, it was a massive shock because Josh and Georgia were going very well together, only for Josh to see this new girl for a couple of days and suddenly he has recoupled. And at this point, we were all just really, just shocked for Georgia. We were just so sympathetic towards her. We did not want her to go through anything bad or negative. And the, the fact that she did, you know, we, and this, this was the peak of her career. And the reason why I say peak is because this is where the audience loved her the most at this particular focal point where we were seeing a struggle and we didn't want this to happen. Later on down the days, obviously George, Josh and Georgia had an altercation and had an argument and talking about how, you know, he wasn't loyal. And this is where the word loyal came from, how she expressed how loyal she is in it as an individual. She kept on saying this particular word over and over and over again. Moderation is key, oversaturation is not. And this is what exactly what was going on. She was professing how loyal she was and then came new boys and then, you know, dating early days, going on dinner dates and she ended up going with Jack who at the time was apparently seeing Lauren. So this was obviously a bit confusing when a kiss took place. Now obviously Georgia professed that a kiss did not take place, that's not who I am, that's not what I do, I'm not that type of girl, I'm very loyal, I'm a loyal individual. However, the cameras and Jack were saying otherwise, and again, this helped to prove that Georgia was actually a bit of a liar. And we all saw what really happened, and the fact that she continuously professed that that did not happen, cracks were slowly beginning to surface within this particular individual. She was assassinating her own character. But we did we not did kiss each other on the lips on purpose, right? right? Oh you my didn't. god. No, you didn't. Ellie, you need to fucking pack down because you're well, fucking... Well, sit in front Ellie, of Georgia! Georgia. Yes, and say how fucking loyal you are! Georgia, don't you Georgia, don't fucking lie now. No. No. You, you, you said just called her a liar. liar. Do not tell me. Because we loved Georgia at this point and we were just very bemused as to where this was coming from, or, you know, were we seeing the true colours of Miss Georgia Steele? We simply just did not know. 
coming down the line, she ended up coupling up with Sam and um, they had their altercations back and forth. They were seeing each other back and forth. Low key, she was very jealous of the fact that Josh just completely rejected her and she kind of wanted to get her back on that. Then, then came a point where they both consciously decided to both leave together to prove their love for each other because a lot of people said that they weren't in love together or that they didn't like each other, they were just doing it to remain in the competition. So when they both leave you know, to prosper in their relationship, a lot of people were still a bit torn as to who Georgia really was because at this point she professed how loyal she was, she was caught lying about the Jack stuff and then it looked a bit forced with the Sam stuff. So these cracks were definitely multiplying and, and she was definitely on some form of a fall, but however, because she was still on the show, it hadn't really, had, hadn't really occurred yet. And then the scandal releases upon Sam and Georgia, who have completely split, because apparently she went to go to her ex's house, stay the night, and they were texting back and forth, and she was only professing that she was just going to get some stuff, but nobody goes to their ex's house and stays over, you know, it, it was just ridiculous at this point, and this really put the nail in the coffin in her character assassination, where she did it again to herself, the hypocrisy was just hilarious because, you know, you're professing to be loyal on one stage. Well, I'm very loyal. Oh, I'm a loyal yeah. However, However, my loyalty is with Laura. Laura. That was loyal, loyal on the day. day. I am completely loyal. loyal. I was loyal to you. Loyal. You're very, very loyal. So that I wasn't loyal. How have I not been loyal? <gasps> You know me when it comes to loyalty. But here you are going to your ex's house, staying the nights over, and you know, there were now multiple situations where people began to conclude that this individual is just a pathological liar. As well as this, what has come to knowledge over time is that we do realise that Georgia is somebody who kind of fetishizes black and mixed race men, where you know, she does not see past their skin color, but she is only attracted to the skin color and what that particular person brings, associating behaviors with skin colors and therefore inducing and consciously or subconsciously enforcing sexual stereotypes. So this in itself was another issue that a lot of people had at hand, which only worsened her likability factor to a massive, massive rate. So at this point now, she's cheated on Sam apparently now, you know, the Jack lies, she's so loyal, which is clearly not. And then you, put, you could really see the weird, thought, just the weird character of how she just claimed to be very desperate. It came off very, very cringy in interviews and she was clearly just being a pathological liar. Everybody was now seeing Georgia Steele for what she really is. Now, at the same time, she's only, what, she only she's, she's, she's still quite young. She is 21, 22. Then again, like, I'm... I'm not ridiculously old, I just turned 23. Um, so at the same time, I do find that quite interesting where you should you should know better, even if you are 21, 22, you can't play the whole I'm a kid role. It doesn't go on for so long. But she really is an emblematic representation of individuals and people who rise and have such a high likability factor on re UK reality TV shows such as Love Island and how they dramatically fall down in a matter of months, days, weeks, seconds because of situations and you know, that are cure that really do show the true colors of who this particular person really is. And you know, it's a bit of a shame because if you compare her to how much we felt sorry for her when Josh came in with Kaz to now, to now how we see her now, the picture is dramatically changed. And this just really just reflects the rise and the fall of Miss Georgia Steele on Love Island. And now she's doing these date shows here and there, and now she's dating this particular fraudster. Like nothing really seems to be going well for her in terms of a likability factor. She really is trying to stretch herself for the, for the 15 minutes of fame. But if you don't have the likability factor, you stretching for this 15 minutes of fame will quickly, quickly, quickly die out. I feel like she is probably one of the least liked person because when the Christmas special came on, you know, she came in and saw Sam and she was being very unprofessional. She was, you know, what I find interesting, she was disassociating blame of anything that she did and shoved it away, you know, was completely being somewhat of an emotional abusive individual to Sam. It came off very problematic. And again, we were seeing Jordan for what she really is. Like even when she was coming into the Christmas special house, you can just tell there's just this cringy, weirdness about her and you know this was completely different to what we were seeing when she first came upon the scene so this these were these were and are her true real colors everybody can see it for what it is the audience is not stupid and this therefore only helped to induce the fall of georgia Steele to the point where a lot of people i'm pretty sure she is probably the, the most unlikable person 
on that particular cast if people voted. She definitely would have been in the top three. But do let me know what you guys think about this small mini documentary of the rise and fall of Georgia Steel. If you guys watch Love Island, which I'm sure many of the UK public did, um, hit me by my Instagram at please, Murad underscore Murali. Type my name on Instagram, follow me. I would massively appreciate it and be very grateful. And definitely hit me up on my YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button, just click that button. I would massively, massively appreciate that and be grateful as well. Comment down below. I read all your comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? You know, are you a fan of Georgia Steel or do you completely understand what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Interact. Like the video. Dislike it if you don't agree with me. Um, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe. And just stay tuned for consistent daily content every single day. And I'll most definitely catch all of you guys soon.